Are you thinking of moving to Fairfield, California, but don't know what neighborhood is right for you? We're well, going to want to watch this video. We are here in the beautiful Rolling Hills neighborhood in Fairfield, California, and we are going to go over everything you need to know about this neighborhood. We're talking location, home features, prices, schools, parks, and at the end, we are going to show you some very unique features about this particular neighborhood that you won't find anywhere else in Sloan County. Let's, Let's go. go. Hi, I'm Lily Ratliff. I'm Brandon Ratliff. And we are a husband and wife real estate team here in Northern California who specialize in Solano County. Lily, I've been living in Solano County for over 10 years now. We've been helping people just like you buy, sell, invest in real estate, and we absolutely love it. Yes, we do. So whether you're thinking of moving the next nine days or 90 days, we want to be your go-to resource. We want to be of help. So give us a call, text, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description in the link below. All right, but let's get started. We are here in the beautiful Rolling Hills neighborhood. You're going to hear it's the end of November, the beautiful crinkling of the <laughs> autumn leaves here. Yeah. And we are here in the stunning Rolling Hills Park, just one of many parks in this neighborhood. And we're going to talk everything you need to know. But first, what are we going to do, Brandon? So before we talk about location, features, prices, and all that mm. good jazz, Lily's going to hop on Google Maps for us and really give us an insight on what's in the area. Mm -hmm. And where those schools are going to be located. Let's go. Welcome to my Google Maps. Go ahead and dive right into it so you know what to expect in terms of location from this community. So here we have Fairfield. And as I do with all of these Google Maps, I'm going to go ahead and just scroll out just to kind of give you a better sense Again, this is Fairfield, and this is going to be Interstate 80. So this is going to be that major freeway. Brent and I talk about it a lot, but this is what's going to get you to, if you're looking to commute most places here. I mean, if you're going east, it's going to take you all the way to the state capital, Sacramento, in about 45 minutes with traffic. And if you're going anywhere in the Bay Area, it'll connect you all the way to, you guessed it, San Francisco there. And that's gonna take about an hour, maybe a little over depending if you're taking public transportation, the time of the day, but if you're commuting, I would say safely an hour. So the Rolling Hills community is located on the more eastern part of Fairfield, so you're gonna be closer to Vacaville. It's really only, I would say, a five minute drive on the freeway. And as I go ahead and zoom on in here, this is gonna be Rolling Hills right here. It is right off of the freeway, which is amazing because it's very, very convenient if you're using Interstate 80 for any reason. But it's also nice because there's gonna be a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants, a lot of things that are local to you. So you're gonna find within five to 10 minutes drive a lot of things. In terms of grocery stores, you're going to have a Safeway, you're going to have a Rayleigh's, you have a Walmart Supercenter, and I can show you, you see this Rayleigh's right here, you know, you're just going to have to go sort of right over the freeway here, but you'll get a Rayleigh's. Just like I mentioned, you're going to get the Walmart Supercenter, and if you want to stay on sort of this side of the freeway, if you go down just a little bit on Hillborn, you're going to get to Safeway. So you have a lot of options, and if you want to go down just maybe two minutes onto the freeway, you're gonna be able to get to Trader Joe's. So a lot of great grocery store options. You're also gonna be pretty close to major hospitals in the area. Again, if you just jump on 80, you're about five minutes away from, we have North Bay Medical Center here. And then here in Solano Town Center, yes, we have a movie theater. There is a mall there, lots of shopping in the Trader Joe's, but also right next to it, if we zoom in a little bit more, you're gonna see Kaiser Permanente. And these, Kaiser Permanente North Bay, these are two two major healthcare organizations. It's nice to know that you're going to be close by to it. Now, I already talked about commuting to say Sacramento or San Francisco, but what else is really nice as I scroll out here, you're gonna be able to see, let me scroll in a little closer for you, Right here is Travis Air Force Base. So if you're moving here because you're gonna be stationed at Travis Air Force Base, I would say you're about a 10 minute drive, maybe 15 if traffic's bad and you're hitting every single light. So just to refresh your memory, this is going to be the Rolling Hills neighborhood. If you are going to Travis Air Force Base, this would be the road you take, Manual Campus Parkway to Cement Hill to Vanden. I'm gonna scroll out a little bit more so you can get a better sense, but Take that all the way down to Peabody, and that's going to get you to Travis Air Force Base and the David Grant Medical Center. Now, when we talk about schools, the great thing is that this is going to be in the Fairfield Sassoon Valley Unified School District, and your elementary school is going to be in the neighborhood. So if you live here, there's going to be a good chance that your kids are going to be able to walk to school. So let me go ahead and just zoom on in so I can show you where that elementary school is located at. 
And boom, right here, right off of Fieldcrest, you're gonna have Rolling Hills Elementary School that has a B plus rating on niche.com. Now the middle school and the high school will not be in walking distance, but I would say you're about five to 10 minutes drive, again, depending on how you hit the lights and the stoplights, but the middle school your children will be going to is B. Gail Wilson that has a B minus rating on niche.com. The best way to get there is not through the freeway, but you'd probably just take Hillborn. This is going to hit right here. This is a waterman road and this will take you to b gail wilson middle school which is right there now the high school is actually going to be on the other side of the freeways and all you'd probably want to do is just take manual campus parkway again that's a pretty major street you'd probably be taking a lot if you live in this community you take it all the way down to north texas and that is going to get you to fairfield high school that has a b minus rating on niche.com so there are all the schools as you can tell I mean, you're gonna have elementary school here, you have your middle school down a little bit this way, and then you're gonna have your high school right here. So you're pretty close to everything. You have all of the shops, you're gonna have the freeway literally right there. So I would say Vacaville, five minutes away. You wanna get to you know the more Western part of Fairfield where there's the Costco, like Cordelia, Green Valley. That's about five, 10 minutes away on the freeway. So just things to keep in mind. So you're gonna have schools pretty close to you. You're gonna have an elementary school within walking distance. You're gonna have several options of grocery stores very near to you, as well as some hospitals, a movie theater, and a mall. So I would say all in all, this is a fantastic location, especially because you are only five minutes away from the freeway, yet it feels like you are in a completely different place. And when we return back to the neighborhood, you're gonna understand why. So thank you, Lily, for the Google Maps. So we are here right now in the Rolling Hills neighborhood. It is beautiful. And as you can tell behind me, these homes are large. They are big homes. What can you expect out of these homes? Well, the median price point here is $750,000, four bedrooms, four baths, around 3,000 square feet on 10,000 plus square foot lots. I mean, you get a lot of stuff here. Now you might be asking yourself, you know, what does that really compare to when you're looking at Fairfield as a whole? Well, if you look at all of the homes sold in Fairfield this past year, that median home is gonna be four beds, three baths, just about 1,900 square feet, a little over 6,000 square foot lot, and that median price point's gonna be much lower at $625,000. So you really kind of can compare the differences between the Rolling Hills neighborhood and all of Fairfield. You usually get a lot more home here. You just do. I mean, more home, you have a little bit more, as you can tell, nature around you. And I mean, maybe Rolling Hills is yeah. one of them. <laughs> Views might be a little piece of it. So something to keep in mind, in this neighborhood specifically, homes go fast here. I'm talking sonic fast. <laughs> You've seen the movie, if you haven't, your kids have. I mean, they're going within 15 days on the market. The average in Fairfield total is 25 days. Okay, now fun fact for you, 77% of the homes sold this year in this neighborhood sold within a month or less. So if you see a home you say here, a month? A month, 30 wow. days, okay? So if you see a home here, you wanna snag it, you wanna look at it and make sure you wanna have a competitive offer. Those days on market, it's no surprise, while well, the price is a little bit higher here. So what kind of home features can you expect here? Well, these homes were built in the 1990s. They're gonna have the grand entrances. They're gonna have the high beam ceilings. You're going to have three car garages. I mean, everything's gonna be a little bigger here. You're gonna have pools. Some of these even have hot tubs, but you're gonna have a lot of space. And something that's really cool about this entire neighborhood in general, and you can probably tell from how peaceful and quiet it is, it is surrounded by rolling hills, and a lot of these homes back up to the hills. So it's a very good chance that you could get a home without a rear neighbor. But something else to keep in mind, like we said before, these homes were built in the 1990s and not all homes have been renovated or kept up with the times. Mm -hmm. So you will find those, you know, those big tiles, maybe the golden frames around the mirrors. Ooh, classic. This, yeah, but it's an excellent <laughs> opportunity to get your foot in the door. You're buying the location, you're buying the area and putting mm -hmm. your own stamp on the home. Yep, but as Brandon mentioned, the bones are gonna be there. You're gonna have a great floor plan with those high ceilings, all of the primary suites. You're gonna have your own bathroom, your own suite, the walk-in closet. Again, you have all that space. It's just up to you to modernize it. And depending on what you're looking for when you get into a home in this neighborhood, depending on updated or not, that's really what's gonna determine the price point that you can get in here for. And you will notice behind me and probably throughout that they are gonna be tile roofs. So these are gonna be 50 year tile roofs mm -hmm. and that's gonna save money there, but 
Everything is very, very nice and quiet here. It's very, like, almost Why am eerily, I whispering? <laughs> almost eerily quiet. I mean, it's, what, 2 o'clock right now? I feel like there should just be a little bit more, but no, that's just, that's the vibe here, guys. It's very peaceful, very calm. Everybody here just seems to be doing well, their the thing. Well, the kids just aren't out of school yet. You just wait. Yeah, you just, yeah, you just <laughs> wait. And one more thing to mention here, there is no HOAs here. Yeah. There's no homeowners association fees. You would think walking around this neighborhood there should be some, mm -hmm. but there isn't. So if you want to park your RV in your in your garage space or your RV spot, you're welcome to. Guess what, guys? We've been around this whole neighborhood. I haven't seen a single purple house. Okay, so everybody <laughs> respects sort of. But you that. know what I keep seeing over and over again? Hmm. Rolling hills. Can we turn around one more time? Please. One more time, real quick. Look behind us. Rolling hills again. Rolling hills, trees, pine trees, nature. oak trees. Like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's too peaceful. I love it. Now let's talk about the price and what this, you know, peaceful serenity could cost you. So if you're trying to get into this neighborhood and wonder what it's going to cost you, a house did sell for five hundred fifty thousand dollars in this neighborhood, mm -hmm. but it was a total fixer upper. You couldn't even get financing for it. <laughs> it said contractor special on it. It was about twenty two ninety one square feet. So it had a lot of potential. I mean, it, it's still sold. Oh, it's sold and it sold quickly. <laughs> yeah. And it is very rare to see homes in that condition in this neighborhood. So I would say that 550 price point isn't really realistic unless you find again another contractor special right, here. Right, right, right. <laughs> now the most expensive home that has sold in this neighborhood this year was nearly a million dollars at $955,000. But we are talking all the bells and whistles what were the stats on that, Brandon? Break so it down for The stats on that was $955,000. This home was about 3,250 square feet on a 13,500 square foot lot. Mm -hmm. So like Willie said, everything was tricked out inside. Gorgeous. Chef's kitchen. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at the photos. <laughs> so beautiful. Everything here had been updated. The flooring, fresh paint, and the backyard was a complete oasis. Yeah, and then looking at all the homes that sold this year, not a lot of them had all of those updated features, especially in those you know, high interest areas like the kitchen, the primary suite. So if that's really important to you, it might be a little harder to find the exact home that you want here. But if you consider that those are just merely cosmetic fixes, maybe you can calculate that into your budget. You're gonna be able to find the perfect floor plan space home here for you. And when I look at homes, I mean, I'm all for like, hey, if the bones are there, the space is there, the mm -hmm. area, the location, I mean, what's a cosmetic kitchen? What, yes. $25,000, $30,000? Right, I mean, and the great thing is that this is an established neighborhood, right? It's been around here for almost 30 years. Mm -hmm. And there were some pretty cool, unique features that we are just about to get to. And you are just a hop, skip, and jump away, like Lily said on Google Maps, away from Highway 80. Yep, and as I mentioned earlier, your kids can literally walk to their elementary school. So there are a lot of different things that make this neighborhood very compelling for you as a buyer. So let's talk about some of the features of the neighborhood. As you can see, rolling hills are a common theme here. <laughs> trees are here, leaves are falling. Large trees. Large trees. But what's really nice about being in this neighborhood, it's a very walkable neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You can go to a lot of different open spaces. There's a lot of trails here. I don't know if I've ever seen so many trails. I don't think I have in either. In one concentrated space in like no. all of Solano like, County. Where are we going? This is really fun. And they all look really beautiful and lovely. Like I feel like everyone here could walk and just have like their own lane. But something else to keep my, be mindful of, you can't see this because we're walking it. <laughs> Some of these sidewalks kind of have a uh, slopage mm -hmm. and there's, it's, it's not very even. From the tree roots, right? From and that's what roots. you get from an established neighborhood with mature trees. And you also get a lot of wildlife in this area. <laughs> Right above us, right in front of us. Yeah, I'm like above us. Above us. The sky? Everything. <laughs> there are turkeys, like six, seven turkeys. Just walking, guys. Just walking. It's very common in this neighborhood. A lot of wildlife, a lot of squirrels, turkeys, and another kind of very fascinating, beautiful, unique bird that we are going to go show you right now, okay? If you're curious, you should be. It's going to be awesome. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, so we are at one of the most unique features of the Rolling Hills neighborhood, and this is what you call the Dunnall Nature Park. It is really, really cool, and I almost feel like a secret of not just Fairfield, but of Solano County. Oh, yeah. Now, Brandon, what about this magical educational place, this park, makes it so unique? Not only do you see the oak trees just sprawling out beautifully, you are amongst peacocks. Yes, live peacocks, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm almost dressed like a peacock with this velvet. Yes, you are. Today. You might be attracting them but today. Look behind us. Look, they're everywhere. 
Can you guys see that behind us? Peacocks. Amazing. <laughs> There's not just two peacocks. There's many peacocks I see them here. right like ahead a of us. There's a of peacocks. And this is an open area for them to roam and be. Kids can come and see them. There's educational resources all the way around, not just about peacocks, but about just, you know, what lives in these enchanted woods. Yeah. And it's just, it's a beautiful place to go. It's yet another charming feature of this neighborhood. It's so quiet here. It's so, so calming. It's so quiet. There's so many different colors right now. It's the end yeah. of November. Let's just do a quick 360. Look, you got a creek right down there. I hear more peacocks, just... The dogs, the kids, <laughs> whatever you need. You know, walking over to a peacock right now, it's kind of cool. And guess what? Interstate 80 is literally five minutes away. But yet you would have feels, never known. No, it yeah. feels like you went to, you hiked into the middle of the forest. It's really amazing. So now that we've talked about some of the other parks, I want to talk about one last secret. I know you're like, there's so many of this place. One last secret, one last hidden gem of the Rolling Hills neighborhood that you should be familiar with to see if this is going to be the right fit for you. Let's go. Okay, we said the best for last. You might be thinking to yourself, Brandon and Lily, where are you guys? We are in the Rolling Hills open space. There is 311 acres here. There is three entrances to get in here, but houses are right in front of us. Like mm -hmm. you are nestled in this beautiful nature. So if you like hiking, do the whole 360 Brandon. Taking walks, I'm doing There's it. There's like a grassy area over there, surrounded by oak trees. I mean, you have those, again, those huge lots that we were talking about, at least 10,000 square feet. A lot of these are gonna be a quarter to half an acre, right? These lots, and they're right on the back. You hear the creek, it's... Ugh. So if you were someone who's like, hey, I don't like rear neighbors, I want my open space, I want mm -hmm. privacy. Well, this is what you're getting here. You yeah. have just the open hills, and as Brandon mentioned, it's 311 acres of open hills. So there are quite a few homes here without rear neighbors. Right. So this could be a great spot for you. Or this could also be a great spot if not only do you like nature, you want your space, but you have dogs, you want mountain biking. You have all of this. I mean, you really do feel completely removed from everything. So this is a great neighborhood, great unique feature of Rolling Hills. It's a good point. Yours. You kind of feel like you're not in a residential area. No, I actually feel like I've almost <laughs> left Solano County. To like you're in the boonies. Like yeah. a Narnia version. Yeah. It's very, like, it's, it's magical right now. And just to give you some perspective, I think it's what, 73 degrees. It's the last day of November. And it's just, it's perfect right now. Yes, it is perfect, but one thing to mention, if you are looking to purchase a home here, you are gonna have fire insurance. You're gonna need fire insurance. You are against the hills, so it is in a very high fire risk area. Mm -hmm. So just make sure, anticipate that being, maybe not necessarily an issue, but make sure you have that coverage first before yep. you sort of go through that offer. More and more insurance agencies are leaving the state of California because of the risk of wildfires. And this is one of the communities that, even though it is so gorgeous, as you can tell, it is completely surrounded by these beautiful hills that could catch a blaze. <laughs> Plenty of the residences do think it is worth the risk. So that was our video on Rolling Hills. We really do hope you guys appreciated the video. We spent a lot of time and effort to make it valuable for you. you can probably tell we're just a little bit more relaxed. Oh, I enjoy being here. I can shoot for another hour and a half just by being in this nature. I definitely nature. could. I think next time <laughs> I'm gonna bring a picnic, a sandwich, <laughs> maybe some wine, go out on the grassy area. So, but before we wrap this up, just want to show you what you could have. These are the houses, these are the views. This is your everyday life. If you have any questions or need additional resources, please reach out to us. We'd love to help you. We want to be boots on the ground. Give us a call. Or open space. Text, <laughs> open space, email, or even schedule a Zoom meeting in the description and link below. But until the next video, Routless, Alice. out. You know, the average days on the market is 25 days in, in Fairfield. Fair sorry, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to say Rolling Hills. No. So I was scared for you. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Look at this, guys. We're approaching another peacock. <laughs> like uh, Steve Irwin. Yeah. Okay, there's a peacock. He does right like animals. <laughs> look, I'm literally everywhere.